Welcome, Hi there. thirsty gamers. Hey, didn't see you there. Well, welcome. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, time for the dusty aspects. Hey, what's up, nerds? We got a good show for you guys tonight. We got lots to talk about. Uh, later on in the show, we are going to be um, doing the first round pairings for the. Uh, 40 below, 40 below it's coming up yeah. on Sunday. That's so 40k. That's AOS. That's infinity. Make sure you guys stick around to the end for that. Um, but more importantly, we're here to you live. Uh, PVP Gaming Lounge. Wonderful or, location. Yeah. Oh, this man. place is sick. I dude. can't gush enough about this place. Seriously. I, I know care. we sound like we're, we're like being cheesy, but this place is no, actually no, really like, cool. Genuinely, you can tell the yeah. Yeah, they got it's been done VR. Right. They got consoles. They got computers. They got, they got pool over in the corner. Streaming esports. You've ever sat at home going, there? I wish I could emulate being a mechanic or a guy that works at Seven Eleven. There is a game that you can play that will help you do exactly that. That's true. Yeah. So, Great place. Come yeah, on down. Check it out. Money. Enjoy yourself. Um, but lots of stuff to talk about. We got example Necromunda teaser that Ooh, is oh, dropping. Oh, the game could be coming back, folks, in a big way. It, it is next up for their specialist releases. They have confirmed this. This is uh, the one they're going to be pushing hard. You this is going to blow PC Shadow War out. And they look gorgeous. Yeah. Let's all be honest. Let's just <laughs> let's yeah. Shadow War. Uh, Shadow I'm not really War sure sucked. what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody dropped the ball. That game well, sucked. See, Shadow War was supposed to be the replacement for Kill Team, which also sucked. Which right? all? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. right? Kill Team didn't really I work out. <laughs> You're trying to force a very large scale game down to somewhere where it doesn't work. That's see, exactly it. Is if you want people to play like this game, game for the size. I've got the game for you, but we'll talk about yeah, it. Later. We, we will come that. to that one for yeah. sure. But that, I think that's what people like about 40K is that they're playing with large armies. There's no reason to try and Dense that into like ten it is guys kind of the have the same yeah. amount of fun. Well, they are you, already, you had a specialist game that fulfilled that need, set in the same universe that was way more interesting. Like yeah, you, you know the kill team. I'm sure as like a literary device is pretty interesting. Well, sure, you can fill, you know fill in your blank scenario, yeah. do what you want, but. <laughs> I want Necromunda, that's what I want. Uh, oh. Other new stuff that came out, um, it's been a couple of weeks since Rory and I have been on the show, so since then, Chaos Codex dropped and an FAQ already, uh, as well as Grey Knights. Hey, I appreciate that they're on the day one FAQ still. You yeah. know what's better than a day one FAQ? Uh, a r well written rule set. Have <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got the game for you? <laughs> to be the devil's advocate for GW about this FAQ, because, you know, that's me. Yeah. Um, this all related to demon units that they put in the Chaos Marine books and how it relates to the Demon Codex. Okay. Or the Demon Index as it yeah. is right now. So points changes, power level changes for those, and then permission for Thousand Suns and Bellacor to use the expanded chart. Because they needed all the help they could get. <laughs> I'm being told by producer Josh that I'm not close enough to Kyle. So I'm gonna, and, I'm gonna uh, I too Touch need up, to sorry, move a little. little. All right, okay. Dan, you too. I'm in the line now. Come in the embracing love of my 40k. Uh, what? What That's is right. love? It's a trap. We oh did god. We did Kyle's groin is open to me. All right. I have to man spread. Here we go. All right. I can't avoid it. Welcome right. to the we club. Got the thumbs up from Josh. Everything's back on track. Welcome back. How are our profiles? I feel good about it. So, uh, where do we start off? Where do we start off? With? Well, we got the expo coming up Sunday. May as well talk about that oh, again. We, yeah, so that's exactly Starting right. at 8 in the morning for 40K. <laughs> well, doors open uh, at 8. Yeah, doors open at 8. Come register. Uh, here, PvP yes. Gaming Lounge. Here. Is that the full title? Am I getting that right? Yeah, that's okay, it. Okay, good. It's, it's the Gaming Lounge. Player versus player. Yeah. Yeah. PvP Comic Book Haven. Very appropriate for what we're bringing. But we're brought to you by Hidden City Comics and obviously PvP Cyber Lounge. I think is what it is. Cyber Lounge. Yeah, PvP yes. Cyber Lounge. Boy, we are terrible with that. So apologies to PvP. Uh, uh, we eventually get better. It's a slow scale. So yeah, eight in the morning. Come on down here. Uh, we're way out on Pamina Highway, and we're going to be having AOS, 40K, and Infinity Games going on. Infinity Games. Yeah. So there's going to be. That's what we're announcing later on. But there's going to be lots of people here. We've got the two v two tournament, thousand points per player. Dose so be dose. Two thousand versus completely sold out. So yeah, that gives us. Uh, Play like six tables, 24 opponents bashing into each other. Yeah, how we do guys AOS? showing up for Infinity, and uh, yeah. we ended up with eight for AOS. That's good even There's still room open, of course, for anyone who's interested. It is uh, definitely encouraged. If we have odd numbers, we have plans for that. Very cool. Not me, but um, plans. So, you know what, before we dive further into <laughs> anything else, uh, like one of my favorite parts about doing this podcast is talking about people's hobby stuff for Absolutely. the week. And like, I know you've been doing Infinity stuff. Regardless, we should talk about it. Uh, I saw Logan join the chat, and that kind of made me think about it. I played a game against Logan two weeks ago. Um, oh, I was yes. very sick. 
Shout out to Logan, though. Super cool guy, super chill, just as was told to me in the chat that he would be. Gave me a pretty royal spanking. I was making lots of mistakes. He has a pretty uh, solid list. Yeah, his he list is like... Pox walkers. Oh, God, yep. and the Demon Princes and stuff, so mm -hmm. he brought a really good show, and I was playing the Drakari. It was for the Caligari Crusade games. Yes. Yeah. So, he definitely took it. I ended up scoring two faction points, because I was... Not paying attention to what you needed to do for yeah. the yeah. So I ruined so my you first didn't turn. switch to the I different didn't, objective. I didn't did make you? a new objective. Yeah. yeah, that's where I yeah. Anywho, so it's all right. From what Scott I understand, your teammates have been doing good. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna be okay. Uh, then I played a game against Scott afterward with my orcs. Scott had his uh, Dino Dar the uh, the Exodites. The Exodites. Oh, it's yeah. wonderful. They're such a cool looking army. Yeah. and um, he yeah. ended up doing. Like, he, he spanked me as well. He did say, though, that I took out the most stuff that anyone's taken out against him so far. Which is... It was your uh, Drakari again? Your no, Dark the Elder? orcs. Actually. Oh, it was the orcs. Yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah. Actually, um, the game was kind of weird. Like, yeah. I ended up... I failed my um, jump charges. And it's all order of rolling, right? So, I had a mob of 30 with a right. war boss and a pain boy. Or, sorry, with Gazicol and a pain boy. Ready to roll right into a unit of rangers. And then I had teleported 30 of them over to deal with um, his bikes, like the little dino-mounted dudes. And so I roll like an 11 and a 9 for the ones against the rangers, which needed like a 6 and a 7. Alright, so and you know, roll, enthusiasm, like, you got your boys three in. 3 and then a 4 for the ones that I jumped, and I was like, no! <laughs> because then... Did you reroll charge? Yes, I did, yeah. I yeah. failed that miserably. But the, the crappy part is, they were standing there, and it wasn't just the bikes that they were dealing with it was like um like a, a wave serpent full of guys and like a bunch of other units that have been hiding behind terrain all of them just jumped out and like focus fired on this squad and they oh, were just oh, toast. Oh. it was brutal and then i didn't end up really doing much until my um uh my morconaut exploded and i got a six and that's a big explosion so it was like d6 mortals to everything nearby I ended up finishing off uh, two things with that and like taking out a decent portion of a squad as well. It was a weird game. I do have to say the exploding vehicles and mortal wounds is one of the things I really like this edition. I think it's cool. And yeah. honestly, like he had what is that, the Incarn that was like just teleporting around the table the whole time. Oh, that and thing's such a little I, bit to deal with. And you know what? It's it like Gazikol went toe to toe with it a few times and it ended up like smoke like Gazikol just lasted I think three rounds of combat against which is insane. But anyway, um, so this thing's teleporting around the table, just killing stuff, and then, then like, soul bursting and shit. Naturally, and then yeah. eventually, it kills the Morkonaut, and then the Morkonaut's just like, hey, no! <laughs> and, like, cleared out that whole section. And Karn goes down. Uh, like, it was just, um, like I said, it was a weird game. Uh, but I had also Big Track, which I was using for yep. the first time. That thing is awesome. Two Your six shots it? with three damage per. Three. Yeah, Jesus. And it's like strength eight or something, and minus three, I think, or minus two. Not and bad. then also the uh, not a bad gun. The kill I tank that hits like on a four plus. <laughs> Rory's gun. just waking into it now. Kill tank hits on a four plus, twenty four wounds. That thing's wicked too. It's like two d six shots, three damage apiece, like strength ten or twelve or something. Stupid, yeah, and like minus yeah. four. Really good vehicle. Uh, but I still like it wasn't enough to deal with the Eldar stuff. So I'm still trying to find that weird balance, but you gotta find that sweet I'm, spot. I'm getting there. It was a better game than some of the ones I played in the past. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I had one today against Lance before I showed up. How was that? Well, I threw against like kind of a general admec list. Uh, I know Lance doesn't consider himself a tournament player, so I didn't want to go too hard yeah, yeah, into it. Right. Uh, 1500 point game, so we could get it done quick. Two big blobs of gene stealers, uh, two brood lords behind it. Drop potted in the swarm lord. We had a trigon come up for backup. Right. That was fast. Yeah. He got things into me. He tied up uh, things incredibly well in combat. You know, it was just a really good game for him, and he dominated that one. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah nits are super good now. Deadly. You know, it's nice to see that that happened, because that was, I remember, an army you'd see at a tournament, and you'd be like, really? No. <laughs> you are a gentleman. Yes. Exactly. Yes, exactly. 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 It was like Eric from Brandon was like, if you play orcs at POW, you deserve, like, sportsmanship, <laughs> like, without even, you know, sight unseen. Yeah. But, yeah, that, that was seventh, though, for you. Honestly, you know, had they just updated some of those books, you know, we might not have all these 
the aching belly Rory might not know what infinity means you know no he still know he still know <laughs> I might not uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to them. diversify that's on them, that's on them. <laughs> Looks like beards are getting lots of love. It's too bad Fifi couldn't be here for the announcement. That really is too bad. Fifi Lamour, shout out to you. I know you're somewhere in someone's Bruce heart. Bruce one and only. I had to fix the microphone. It was in my face. There you go. Anyway. Okay. Um, and now it's not, so So those are, your, those are your recent games? Yeah, I did a bit of uh, hobbying, too. Airbrush some orcs. You were working on Infinity Models, though. Yeah, right? man. I, uh, some with, with little tiny guys, especially if they're metal, I learned that you, really, like, less is more. As, as long yes. as you have an airbrush. <laughs> you have an airbrush. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have different experiences here talking about our hobby with Infinity. Yeah, like, I, I did, um, I did up, like, Seven or eight of them, pretty quickly. I want to say like I your progress hour. was like. Well, yeah. I think it's just uh, it's not so much sitting there with a little brush and making detail yeah. all day. It's getting shit painted in a way that, and then just using technique after technique to cheat your way through. Absolutely. Exactly. So the uh, I want to say about an hour a model, including building. Them. So that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It, it, they lend themselves to stuff better than 40k models do. I think so. In in, in that respect, like I think the, so. The speed painting aspect of it. But no, I'm happy with them later. Once I figure out the little bit of green stuff at the joint and then glue. Yeah. Yeah, man. See, I never did that. <laughs> I mean, the thing with the metal models too is you got to remember to gaps. Them off. Yes. Oh. They have that release agent too. Yes. Right? So. Okay. And that Noah's glue so good. Oh, nice bueno. Yeah. Uh, and you played some games, too, at uh, Hidden City last week. Yeah, that's true. So I get the whole story. So uh, everybody else started picking up Infinity, and uh, I also sent Yuri and I kind of momentum ourselves into it and after yeah. some push from uh, Scott, who is running the Infinity on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Scott, the war con for... Yeah, not, uh, mm -hmm. not be producer Scott. No, Scott, Scott Newell. Newell. Yeah. Scott Newell. Yes. Um, but no, and Sid got into it too. So Sid was into it. Yeah. yeah. Juice was already into it. But uh, yeah, I picked it up. I gave it a shot, and the rule set is way more complicated, and not in a way that that is like uh, difficult to get on board with either. It's complicated in a way that made me reminiscent of you know like Seventh Ed, but in a way that was kind of even more so. The layers of interaction between the rules, right. for sure. Um, I, I've yet to find a rule that I think. It's stupid. Yeah. I know what I mean. I agree. Is, the other thing I like is that you see the rules shared across the races. Yeah. Some might have access to certain more than others, but yeah, there are universal special rules. It kind of it, it, it was all the things I liked about seventh, and then kind of none of the things. None I of the clunkiness of seventh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, it works because of the scale it right. operates on for sure. Well, and then other things like the uh, the kind of special weapons limits. Like there, there's a character available or a unit availability. Yeah. But there's also the kind of guns you can give those guys. Yeah, you have a certain limited, number right? of your points that uh, your SWC points that right. you can uh, have depending on how many points you're running in the game. You know, every 50 points is one of these SWCs. Uh, we do have Logan ask about our thoughts on the new Mortarian model. Uh, personally, I think once they did the video and you got to see the alternate paint scheme, not that like bright purple and green yeah, thing that, that they weird, first put dude. out. I really weird. like that model. I think it's really cool, but then like as a person who's played Nurgle for a long time, what kills me is I'm going to see it the first over, and over and over again. Yeah, the first shots didn't do it justice. No, you know what though? It looked like a butterfly. Yeah, you know what though? That's part of kind of thing. Yeah, I wanted, the fly I wanted, has uh, always been a part of Nurgle lore, but like, I the thing that I don't like about all these big characters coming out is like at POW, for example, when we played against a million Celestines, and I'm like. Yep. Yes, that's right. There are so many parallel universes crossing over at the same time today. I guess it kind of Where she's like, <laughs> I'm yeah. fighting myself. Who am I anymore? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. And then now everyone's going to have a Mortarian and a Death Guard well, army. And, like, it's like it used to be this thing, cool right? little like closet army that I had that, you know, I could... Are you, are you going hipster like, on this one, Dan? I think so. Because, you know oh. what? Like, Death Guard always got love, but I liked it because I, I, like I could convert it and, you know, it was unique. 
And now I think everyone's going to be half in Death Guard <laughs> and the fucking Prime. I think Mark you're a little Mark. late on that. You're you're about a month and a half late if everyone going on Death Guard. You're fucking still out, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is this is where I'm getting to. No, uh, what I was expecting though was like you know a lot more grimdark than what we got. I kind of wanted to see like you know not steampunk but like kind of like a really like you know yeah. respirator and like looking like like a like a walking tank that has asthma I, I, think, that, <laughs> I think that era it might be past us yeah which sucks yeah. cause now everything's kind of like it seems like we, they sort of they move past that like I call it like the 80s anime sci-fi aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. You know, they Which, all have that same feel and that's what 40k and had. They were like wow. David wow. Bowie, Elder. I like, know. You get I like know. Elder Guardians that looked like, you know, old rock musicians. It's like, I don't know, man. It just feels like kind of like really fantasy sort of influenced right now and I'm not... I'm not they, they, they are blending them a little bit more and some of the influences back and forth. Like some of the some of the Plague Marine models, the new ones, I like those quite a bit. Yeah, I think they're gorgeous. Um, like I, I really love the sculpt. The part yeah. that kills me is the size because the rest of my stuff just doesn't jive with that. And like I'm playing original sure, rhinos. Sucks, like everything That's in a no rhino chassis. It's just it's there's, there's no way that like seven to ten of these guys could fit in that vehicle. And like there's no way Space Marines could get in that thing even in third edition. But now it's like Especially, Didn't somebody do like it? they're the I same somebody size. Did. Somebody cut them off the base <laughs> and put <laughs> yeah. ten of them yeah. in there, and they were in there. It's the same size as like a Terminator from that era, but. I there are Terminator sculpts coming out, yes. which is okay. nice. Yes, and then probably like they're going to be amazing. I'm sure they're pretty large. So I don't mind what the do size you do? creep. Like I understand you have to phase that in, and I understand the GW is a business, but I hate the Primaris Marine concept. I think it's totally unnecessary. <laughs> I don't care. I know I say it all the time. I just I think it's stupid. Do you, do you think they could have size crept like the Primaris into the are regular? the ultimate human, never to be succeeded, except for these guys we just made yesterday. Yeah. Who are kind of better. <laughs> like, well, technically, he made them ten thousand years ago, but I, Reboot no. was in the uh, Frozen. What? So, he, so wait, the entire no, no, time, seriously, no, Paul no, was know. told only by to report from Reboot on it. I know, but what I'm saying is, for like ten thousand yes. years, he watched like, oh man, we're gonna ask. I better open this door. I better open the. No, no I can't. I no, can't. no, no, I promised I wouldn't. I can't. Ad like, programming, man. Ad programming. He's not coming back. Hey, Logan. Logan says he's not feeling the new Death Guard either. You know. Yeah, there you go. He says there less, you go. less, less flesh balloons. <laughs> Weird flesh balloons. Oh, I don't. Logan's not a fan of the this, tentacles at all. I'm not a big tentacle guy either. I think Death Guard's cooler as like the rusted, kind of leaky thing. Like you know, you said like a Hulk of a yeah. tank, just kind of yeah. lurching. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's better as a zombie <clears throat> concept than it is like an alien with. Like, I, I, mean, I do think tentacle and Slash should be the same yes. territory. Yeah, exactly. But Disease, like I think yeah. disease, yeah. You know, like yeah. smog. I saw disease, actually, like, I, I can't. I think it was on Fayette. What disease? Where they were, tentacles? they were like giving away. Well, you could it's enter the 41st in. Forty first millennium. <laughs> you, you could enter into a contest to win a Sakarin, and it was like the most gorgeous Death Guard Sakarin I've ever seen because it was mostly like the bone color with a little bit of the green in the inserts and then they just like rusted the shit out of it oh. but like Sid level rust not oh. like not like us rust like, like, like master rust. level rust to be okay. fair though did you not give your Land Raider Proteus lobster claws I put two claws on the side yeah yeah you know what they, I think that it's subtle uh, enough I, I also don't like tentacles themselves. those aren't tentacles so those you're are, okay with a crustacean they're Carnifex Crusher water. claws <laughs> You heard it here first. He's a fucking liar. <laughs> well, and, and again, I'm going have to associate lying. the crustacean claws and slanesh, not, you know. Okay, you know what? Both of you should just leave, I think. I think that's I mean, probably the easiest way to do this. Essentially, what we Stan is a shithead. He doesn't know <laughs> what the hell he's talking about. Man, you will never see Has a tentacle. There will not no, be a tentacle. No, he hasn't. And I, oh, okay. He, the weird here, like, I, I feel like we should do, like, an episode just on, like, how to convince your friends that there is a superior game system when they've played something for, like, 15 to 20 years and refused oh. to. Oh, like, God. It's like, this is going to be fun. Make them play He's one like, game. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> Make them play one I demo the, game. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. But I'll, I well, I'm supposed to articles. play one tomorrow. I read so the you article. You're going to play yeah. one tomorrow. Yeah. There's going to be so many people there. I'm not probably. buying it. I'm not going to commit to anything. It's like it's like you just had a divorce. And you're like, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's because I've got like several thousand dollars of Warhammer. But no one's saying like, it's, stop it's just playing hurts. Warhammer. I'm I know, but you know what? play Warhammer. No one's saying it, but I am I know that for a fact that when I try that, it's better that I'm just going to like, I'm not going to give you're, you're in a dissolution state right now. Eventually, it's going to loop you back around. I'm bummed. I know you're bummed. I'm, I'm bummed. I'm seriously that. bummed. Well, I know See? this shit's going to change over time. But. Anyway, I'm not stupid. Look, <laughs> in the winter, See, it they might caught be on better. Flesh on a balloon talk. 
Yeah, see, that's Logan talking about the balloons. Benjamin likes the balloons. He wants to pop it. That's gross. Logan, <laughs> like you can count on Ben for that usually. Yeah. Benjamin liking the balloons. Ben, just Ben. Do you watch YouTube videos of people poking their pimples? I love that stuff, man. I can't. Ugh. I honestly can't watch those ones. Like, I'll try, and it'll be a turn away. I'm in it. I'm watching it anyway. Ben says he's in crabs a disease. Boom. Land Raider uh, makes sense. Like a parasite, aren't they? Nah, I'm gonna go with disease. Where, uh, you, you show me on the Land Raider which part. <laughs> oh yeah, I know where the crabs. You know, happen. find me, find me any healthy. You know, it's funny. Animal a slash it doesn't have a freaking though. claws. You make, you make a, a big crabs could live in anything. That's what I'm trying like, to say. This is my Nurgle infected. What if? Tent. What if it? What if the it's Nurgle got infected crabs on its balls? What if like, it just became a crab and then lurched onto your balls? I'd, I'd be like, I'm you're saying, unhealthy. I'm just saying, man. You, if you're not going to complete the narrative, don't even do the conversion. <laughs> Don't waste my time. <laughs> Don't waste. Oh, you're not even time. at the table anymore. That no. doesn't even matter. Looks like Ovi is quite enjoying the addition. Yeah. Well, it's a good addition for Dreadnought, so I, I can totally see Ovi enjoying it. Yeah. I'm, I, you know what though? Like again, I'm just waiting for the kings to get worked out before I hop back into it. Sure. But what I'm saying sure. is there are other systems. We don't have to be slaves to GW. No. They don't own us. You know, you, I think you hit a point where it's like you're playing too many games and you try and do too much yeah. and it kind of collapses. But like I've been saying since the beginning, I've wanted something squad size, you know, small level that I could get in. And, that and is what that's did. what I found. And do it amazingly, as you had said earlier. Um, okay, so uh, a couple little housekeeping things I wanted to bring up as oh, well. Yes. Now that we're on the Infinity topic, uh, George at Hidden City, uh, yes. while not stalking Infinity as of yet, uh, is capable of ordering in anything you need. And uh, very happy to. In the store. Uh, you can pay for shipping and get it uh, ex expedited to the store. Or you can piggyback. Yourself. Or you can, for free, piggyback on one of his bi-weekly orders, I believe. I think or it's bi-weekly. Bi yeah. I'm not sure exactly, but, you know, well, This is the best part about, like, your FLGS, like the friendly local game store. Yeah. They have more than one system. So, Support honestly, local. if this is the next wave, grab it at Hidden City, because George is a super Absolutely cool guy. Absolutely grab it at Hidden City. Like, uh, we've he, all been trying to play there every Friday yeah. now. Yeah, and it's a great little spot for that, too. So, yep. if you're ever looking for somewhere to uh, get a game in on uh, Friday night, we will be there. Actually, Friday, pretty much all day. I don't you can, you can, in the afternoons. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm not sure because you know Yuri and changing plans, but uh, yeah. we're supposed to go for afternoon tomorrow right through. Yeah. So uh, also, um, George is able to currently offer five percent uh, discount. That being said, um, the discount will potentially increase should the volume increase. Hopefully, on what I'm hoping for is that he ends up just stocking it eventually. So yeah, I mean we the, we'll the guys the enough. fact that he's yeah. throwing us a bone is amazing because. Uh, yeah. He Already, is he's working on a tough on margin, right? So, you know, just throw the guy a bone as well. He's not and greedy. Grab your stuff yep. there. He's a nice guy. He runs a. He, he's got a. He's very willing to accommodate. Clean store, damn it. And you know what's cool about that place actually is that even when the store closes, he keeps open the other side for people to game. Yeah. So there's usually magic happening and 40k and infinities. So. Oh, well, I think we're gonna have uh, to work out to get keys for someone who stays till it's later. And sometimes those magic guys are ready to go. Yeah. I think we were like last week. Pushed it a little you, bit. You could feel he wanted to go. Yeah. Yeah. We pushed it a little yeah. bit. But I yeah. mean, we'll. Uh, we'll, we'll but work we'll work out. out. We'll work we'll things work out there. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, that being said, I uh, go yeah. down and check it out. Hidden City. I am incredibly impressed with. I'm impressed with the service. I'm impressed with uh, how personable George is. He's willing to go the mile for you. He's a nice guy. He's a good so guy. He likes yep. the stuff he pedals. Yep. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking maybe... Um, yeah, Ben. Uh, I would say same attitude as I want that stuff. Uh, our, oh, you know what? We got that question about the Malefic Lords. Let me see a point increase. What do you think, Kyle? Uh, I, I can't see it. Maybe. But I, I don't think they're going to do a point increase at this point. Okay, so we just got a quick note from producer Josh. Pairings are going to go down at 8.15. So, so we have 15 minutes. And yeah. then the draws are going to start happening. ETA. Looks like Martin Navarro just joined. Hey, late Martin. to the party. Now, this is a guy I'm going to get hooked on Infinity through the JSA. Yeah. We're going to get him playing the Japanese because I need someone else doing it with me. That's true. And Martin is Japanese and loves 
Just give me some tell some skin tones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although I really botched the skin tone on one today. To she be fair, like we're not just saying that. He but. wanted to get into Tao because of the representation that can cross over there. Uh, I think he's going to like this team. Nice tread there, Dan. Nice tread. <laughs> It's the truth. Is it? Anyway. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And look at that. Martin's Raid Order Friday. Uh, when you get there, I'll help you figure out what you want to get going on JSA yeah. right away through my trial and error lately. <laughs> Martin is buying Infinity. Are you not cooler than Martin? Hey, I've not you played not on a the game trolley? yet. I, haven't, I have not played a game You'll be on the side. i got to try it. Oh, i got to try it first. i got to try it. Yeah, what oh, wow. It's like if I was like, oh, I want to play Warhammer and then just, just went like this and picked one. I'm not going to do that. I did it once when I was a kid. How did it turn out? Good for me, bad for my brother. <laughs> he yeah, he picked Dark this. Eldar and I got Space Marines. Oh, well, that's too bad. I made home games easy for Dano. But, uh, I think the nice thing about this is you can kind of go rule of pool and not shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> there's more efficient builds and there's less efficient builds, but man, you can just do it. You can pick whatever you want. Everything's good. There's no crappy. I mean, there are there are units that do things better than other ones. I'll say close combat is hard. Yeah, that doesn't. I'll give yeah. that warning ahead of time. Close combat is hard. I kind of focus towards it with doing the ninjas and making them the assassins. Yeah. But screw it. I knew what I was getting into. Yeah. Jason Wells says, "I love eighth hole being able to deep strike and no scatter and assaulting is how it should be." I also agree with that. Honestly, that was a pet peeve that I had with seventh was the waiting for everything. Yes. Because yes. it slowed the game down. It didn't make sense. And you got shot No one's going to get out of a tank and be like, secure the area if there's a guy like five feet away from them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any sense the way that it a works. part of me knows what you mean. So yeah, I agree with parts of that. You know, like, I think it's cool that you're able to do that. I like the nine inches. I think people kind of set up a little close to each other now. Like, I don't, I don't think it's changed, but I think for the speed of units and everything, yeah. maybe they should bump it back slightly. Like, it's... It's almost like everything. Unless like everyone is trying to take advantage of the buffs, so they're keeping their guys nice and clustered too. It depends on who you're playing against. Yeah. Like, cause like, when I played against Scott, his his stuff was pretty spread around uh, evenly. I'd say he doesn't yet have the same level of buffs as some of the Imperium ones. Yes. Um, yeah. Some of the Imperium stuff is point. insane. You know, yeah. like, yeah. But. Honestly, yeah, Jason, you're right about the assault thing. That was something that I, you know, as us going like, woo, 8th edition is going to rock, that was part of it. That was like one of the reasons that we were really pumped yeah. about it. Also the vehicle mechanics. And I also love that I feel I can play people who are newer and not overwhelm them with a wave of rules. Yeah, like not having all the name special rules. As someone who's played forever, I miss that. Like I miss, I kind of considered like, like never in my mind did I imagine, you know, what 8th would end up looking like, but I was hoping it would look similar to 7th, but just with some of the errors removed, because, like... You were hoping for a, a tightening of 7th instead of replacing. Yeah, but, like, playing against people like, you know, Chris, the my girlfriend's brother, mm -hmm. who's new to the game, 8th is perfect. Playing against people like Gabe, 8th is perfect. Like, yeah. it's it's perfect for getting into it and playing. That's what I'm saying. I think they should have... I mean, I know there is, like, a beginning and an advanced rule set, but I think that they made the, the core rules that get used even the advanced one too dumb down. They, they should have had like chapter like, approved might change that. Eh? Fixed seventh, left that for advanced, called that advanced eight, and then had whatever you know. Well, the chapter approved in December is actually going to be uh, yes. Um, chapter approved is uh, chapter definitely going to screw that out. Yeah, I yeah. think it, because they have a lot of updates coming for competitive play. Obsec's back. There's a lot and of stuff that is going to happen. Again, still. looking at it from the same perspective of an AOS player, I kind of thought something like this would come. This is what General's Handbook is. Yeah. So interesting there. Um, we got a question from Logan about AOS at Hidden City. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, there's a little bit. Like, yeah. honestly, um, there's terrain for it, but I think I've seen two or three AOS games happen yeah. there. You, you should arrange it though. Like, don't show up thinking that it's probably going to happen. But, um, but yeah, honestly, you can play AOS there. Uh, also, keep in mind too. Uh, this is a Forty Below show, so Forty Below Expo. There's a lot of people that yes, just recently joined. Uh, we've got people for the two v two, so yeah. that changes tactics a little bit. And make sure that you come check it out. It's at eight o'clock on Sunday here at PVP. We start Cyber at nine. Lounge. Dice are rolling at nine o'clock. 
o'clock. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be a really cool thing. If anything, just come down to check this place out. If oh, you like 40K, fantastic. you'll like hanging out it's here. It's fantastic. But once you, like, you get here, you you'll like see how nice it is. You enjoy screens of multiple games. Yeah, we got like Funny Car Racing and League of Legends in they the same corner. Wrench. They've got uh, board games <laughs> as well as VR PS4 games. I think someone's uh, playing a fighting game or yeah. is it Breath of the Wild? <laughs> Like, there's a good variety from what I was looking at. Yeah, it's a cool place, so definitely yeah. come check that out. Um, anywho, yeah, 40k tournament, we're going to be announcing the pairings first, and then I think we're going to do AOS and then Infinity? Yep, yeah, yeah. that works. So, um, in about 10 minutes' time. the potential of tactics and things? Yeah, well, 2v2 is a very different animal now. It absolutely is. In 8th edition, so... One like, of the best things I think of, if you're approaching a 2v2 list, is kind of the hammer and anvil. One guy, uh, I'll use Logan for example, he uses his box walkers in Typhus. Yep. He's the anvil. He's uh, holding the objectives and he's getting uh, things set up to smash against them. One pussy, gross yep. anvil. Every time you hit it, or do <laughs> is just. I don't want to see anybody in the way. Yeah, like. Oh, sorry, continue. Oh, no, I was going to say, uh, it's also the kind of anvil you don't want to run infantry into because it's going to absorb them as it kills. It produces more every time it kills an infantry. Yeah, like, I don't know, it's it's a it's a very different game in that people, I think, need to choose a focus more than ever. Like, it, it was always a good idea to have an assaulty player and a shooting player, but I think people weren't afraid to diversify a bit and just kind of play their own game in conjunction. Now, though... Uh, it pays dividends to have one person do straight up assault and the other yep. one do straight up shooting. Yep. Uh, Logan's partner is the guy who has the shooting. He brings his dev squads, he's got las cannons and missiles. That's what Martin and I are planning to do. You know, and, and it's we're, the smart doing, idea right now. We're doing the uh, the three shared, and then you bring your own command points, right? Yeah. Like, so, so whatever you bring for battalions or whatever, that's, that's personal. Right. And they got three that you guys can kind of your figure base out. Three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It seems to be the most fair way to do doubles. It's uh, how GW was approaching their doubles tournament. So I'm surprised kind of taking we um, lose from that. Did it, now? How come we didn't do the 12:50 per side? Is that because it ended up going longer than we thought with the Caligari 2v2? I believe so. Um, what we want to try is you know thousand points. See if it's too. Oh, that's right. We're using the old yeah. points. This yeah, yeah. Thousand points each. So seeing if that ends up as being you know everyone finished really early. Yeah. Are we finishing yeah. just on time? Do we still have people finishing late? It's still. If we have the call to increase to 12:50, easy to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess this will be kind of like a. Um, uh, like a beta version of how we'll approach Twin Eagles. This is absolutely a testing ground. Of course, indexes only because all the codexes that have been released were within that uh, 30 day buffer of no codexes. Yes, no so releases. yeah, it's a big reminder this is an index only tournament. You cannot show up with any of the new books and actually play those lists. Right. Yeah. The points from those, the relics, uh, the combinations you can do, the psychic powers, those aren't valid. You must bring the indexes. Yes. Yeah, that's a big part because. So there are a ton of point differences. Obviously, the word here is better in the books. I'm sure. imagining. I'm not uh, sure. I, I remember OV was posting an example when we were talking about it in the 40 Below Expo uh, page. And I think his list was a difference of 60 points. You went yeah. from uh, 999 to 939 or something like that. Right. Yeah. So it, it does Major help. Advantage. Yeah, certainly. So everyone's That's a on decent the same amount of bodies now. or upgrades. Like yep. sixty points is huge. So yeah, you want to just everyone play on the same ground floor that was released, you know, a while back. Yes. FAQs still apply though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. make sure that you're like up on your FAQs because some armies it's a significant difference. Make sure you're current on one of the fifty PDFs that have been <laughs> released on over the last three months. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You have your codex. I mean, your compendium. Do I? Yeah. Yes, I do, yeah. Ready? I'm going to be bringing the orcs. The orange, yellow, and red green skins are coming out. Very exciting. Uh, yeah, Ben, to answer your question, um, anything that has been released that's not within 30 days of the Twin Eagles event is valid. So it's only that 30 day buffer. So yes, your Space Marine Codexes, Chaos Marine Codex, Grey Knights, Death Guard, I think will be in that. Those will probably be the ones that you'll see. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Scott had basically said, oh no, sorry, for Twin Eagles, yeah, like everything is, it's always the 30 day buffer. It's yep. always been like that for every tournament. That's, that's that the do. standard like, that we're still yeah. going with. Yeah. Planes of War is the same way. Um, actually, I think there was a release right before Planes of War that didn't make it in this year. What was that? Uh, uh, talking oh, about May. Oh, man. I can't you know, it's that. honestly so many releases and so much hype ago that it oh, feels and, like and another like, year. The stuff's coming out like rapid fire right now. So we're looking at, what, Death Guard is next with a bunch of new models. Death Guard will be September, book. and yeah. because, like Primaris, it's model plus book. Do you know what's coming um, after them? Uh, we've seen rumors, but nothing confirmed. Uh, what are the rumors? We've heard rumors of Necrons, of Tyranids, Imperial Guard. Uh, Thousand Suns are in that rumor set. Uh, uh, basically, yeah. just another six between now and uh, December, end of December. Well, they've done, what is it, Space Marines... Then chaos, then chaos and green Wars, 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 Wars. So at the same time. It was the same. I'd week. be digging a Xenos release. Yeah, I'd be pretty up for it. Even if it's we'll Necrons or Nids or something. Yeah. So producer Josh, ladies and gentlemen, Josh, give him a wave. You sassy <laughs> monkey. Uh, just Gosh, to let everyone hot. know, we could possibly be adjusting the 30-day buffer. Uh, again, we're feeling things out at this point. We yeah. have no idea what's happening. Games Workshop is actually worried. taking the lead now on tournaments. Now is the time to panic, Mike. I live mostly panic in fear. Right to Lose your shit, go straight to Infinity. Looting. Sometimes when I go to the bathroom, I phone home. That's a different kind of panic. All right. Uh, what time is it? We got five more minutes before we uh, release the boots. We're uh, the numbers. The, the Peruns. Yeah, yeah. Mar or, uh, Martin said on the chat that if we lose, we can play Settlers of Catan. Martin, if you came here to play Settlers of Go Catan, you'd be a goddamn loser. Yeah, you get the hell out of here. There's so much else to do here. We are playing okay. Counter-Strike on the Land it. Center. That's what's happening. There's just so much cool stuff to do here. You happy with yourself, Martin? Martin, you've, you've upset me. Martin's always happy with himself, I think. You know what? I can't stay mad at you, Martin. I can. Rory will. <laughs> I'm furious. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm furious? <laughs> Boy, am I pissed. Um, Reminds me of the neutral planet on uh, Futurama. I have no strong emotions one way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Okay, so just like an interesting fluff piece. World of Tanks has 40k oh, DLC yeah, what coming the hell out. Is that, going on? that felt really out of left field, but I think it's a smart move. I think it's really smart because instead of investing in more mobile games that some people might play, tons of people play World of Tanks. Yeah, I know uh, at the <coughs> store both uh, Mike and Mark on staff were very excited about it as they both play World of Tanks. Um, I can see it working well. Uh, a DLC, I might try it. Like, I, like World of Tanks is a free to download game, is it not? Yeah, Used but you know how these games get premium will come out very quick. Well, you know, if it's anything like War Thunder, then I'm in. Like, War Thunder added the ground stuff recently, so I like that mechanic of playing with tanks on the ground. I understand that the people who get into War uh, or the World of Tanks really yeah. enjoy World of Tanks. Yeah. So, eh, you know, it could be a very good game. I've seen some stuff on Twitch, too. It looks fun. I've seen things. I've seen weird stuff. I've seen a lot of shit on the internet. Um, Especially on Twitch. So that's cool. I mean, I'm sure that's going to cost money. But it's not going to Oh, yeah, it's DLC. DLC. Yeah, it's and it's 40K, so it's probably going <laughs> to... There's no way DLC. anyone 40, gives that shit away. $40. They're also wrapping up really hard on uh, Total War 2 right now. They're coming up for that release in September. Yep. Uh, you pre-order it, you get the Norska free, which is kind of cool. You know, you get a bunch of ice giants and mammoths and things. Who can't argue with that. Giants and mammoths. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> preview of this game and look pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I've seen it played. I haven't played it. It's a fun game if you like that style of game. Um, Good talk. <laughs> Kyle is entirely <laughs> indifferent to it. Um, I haven't played it in a couple of weeks. So. What, about the, uh, what about the Grey Knights Codex release? Anything interesting? Uh, you yeah, can you, you do, played uh, against them recently, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I, I played against them on the weekend. I took a uh, demon list, and I barely squeaked that one out. I had one unit sitting on an objective at the end. So that was pretty funny. Okay. Um, but you can take uh, things like the Grandmaster in the Dread Knight, which is okay. it's pretty hilarious. I heard that the, uh, the point really difference strong. isn't that bad either. It's like 35 more points or something yeah. to have the... He was over 300 points in the Dread Knight as the Grandmaster. Yeah. 
Um, That's still pretty dope, though. But yeah, it was a really good game. Uh, I mean, being demons, they actually make Great Knights useful against them again. So they oh, slice yeah, you up? Or? Yeah. yeah. It's like the one list they're tailored to... Right. Last edition, it didn't matter. If I was against Great Knights in 7th, it was a win? shit show. Oh, he won. Or no, I won on points. If oh. he had been able to have that one more turn to get over to that unit, it, it was it. He had killed... Oh, it was a 35 point uh, unit of horrors. That was it. Otherwise, oh, he had killed the rest of my 2,000 points. So. That says something. Was Magnus in that list or just Fady? Magnus was in that list with really? Fady. Yeah, yeah. No, he uh, he ran me pretty hard on that. Although, again... Three Dread Knights kicking him at the same time. Well, that's a Codex versus... Yeah, yeah but it didn't feel like I was... Um, like I was overpowered at any point or I had no chance, anything like that. It was, it was pretty slim. Uh, I appreciated the power level they gave the Codex. I yep. didn't... Uh, I was a little uh, full of myself at the beginning because I thought Magnus was going to be able to do it. Yeah. Uh, then when he runs in, the guys that are doing D3 damage each. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you did have a pretty much undefeated list going into that, though, right? I mean, like... I I've probably lost about six times with that list. Out of, like, 50 games? 40-ish, yeah. Yeah. So that's not a terrible margin. No. No. I'm happy with that. You can take that to the bank and they will give you a loan for a house. Oh. Man, that's the only way I'll get a loan for a house. <laughs> <It> proved. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are at 815. Uh, we've shot the shit just about enough. This and you know what? Fun. Producer Josh has been working tirelessly to get these pairings ready for us. It looks like they are, in fact, ready. So, okay. without further ado, my name is Dan Hewen. Welcome to the Dusty Aspects. We're here live at the PvP Cyber Gaming Lab. I'll handle AOS. You do AOS. Yeah. Okay, I'll so, here we go. 40k I'll pranks. Help. I'll help. So, remember, this is happening Sunday, this Sunday, Sunday. at PvP Sunday. Cyber Lounge Sunday. on Pemmon Highway. Saturday. Let's get that address up here. Get it up. Googer it. Are you Googering? Yeah. Oh, Dan's Googering. All, All right. right. We will... We know where 2795 Pemina Highway. There so, we go. Make your way down here Sunday, 8 in the morning. Kyle? 8 in the morning is when it starts. We uh, ask you to come in to register. Doors open at 8. 9 o'clock is first game. Quarter 2, uh, we'll have the, hey, here's the speech of how things are going to go. Da, 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 da. They got wings here. They got Infinity. excellent bar. You guys are a little bit later. Maybe you are 10 Yeah, it's on the TV now, see? And clothing is optional. Clothing is not optional, Dan. Okay. If DT was here, clothing would be optional. Pants okay, are so. Just pants. Uh, 40k Only pairings. Pants off, pants off. <laughs> here we go. Fifi Lamour, this is for you. Okay, so first game is Bill and Josh versus The Taken, aka Christian and Mike. So Bill and Josh versus Christian and Mike. The Taken. The, the taken. taken. Ooh, that was a good oh, that's one. That's pretty good, actually. So now we've got Lineage, or Line Age. <laughs> Victor and Alex versus Lack of Beards, Brendan and Devin. Oh, so it's like the uh, the alternate beards, right? The alt beards, alt beards. Uh, I feel so bad it's Victor and Alex, partner, but uh, I wasn't. I versus wasn't Brendan and Devin. Okay, next up is <laughs> through faith and fire. Oh, yeah. Jesse and Derek versus yeah. Last Chancers, Logan and Matt. Yeah, look at me. Uh, so that is Jesse and Derek versus Logan and Matt. Then make Conor great again. That's Eric and Kyle <laughs> versus Ryan and Ian, who did not submit a team name. Uh, Greybeards, it's Ovi and Steve versus Eric and Matt. Also no team name from Eric That's and Matt. That's correct. Then we you have guys can't see it, but producer Josh is highlighting each one of these. Like, he's being his own teleprompter. He's a good man. Let me tell you that. Uh, now here's my team. Martin and Dan are coming. That's Martin and Dan versus Ram and Raven, John and Dale. That's eerily appropriate. So, <laughs> Ram and Raven, Martin and Dan are coming. Couldn't be a better match. Mm. Ovi right, wants to know when the bar opens. Lists up there. We'll have to find that out for you, Ovi. Because uh, I'm sure liquor laws in Manitoba aren't going to say 8 in the morning, but maybe? Maybe, maybe lunch. by lunch, Ovi. <laughs> after your first game? Most likely after the first game, but we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, Kyle's got Sigmar pairings. You know Ovi. On to Age of Sigmar. First up, we have Bud against Ronnie. That is Bud against Ronnie. Bud and Ronnie. Bud and Ronnie. Bud and Ronnie. Second game is Calvin against Zach. Uh, <laughs> I 
feel bad on this one because I should remember his name. Kellen's brother-in-law versus Chris <laughs> is our third game. Uh, Chris was our eighth guy Very to sign professional. Up. Uh, he did that right after getting his house. The good uh, on the house purchase, Kellen's right? brother-in-law. Uh, Chris. Chris. Chris ready. Oh, Chris got the house. Yes, Never sir. mind. And then we have Corey <laughs> versus Griffin as was. our final pairing. All right, and we will see these posted shortly in the chat. Here they come. Oh, we almost got a tag there. Oh, All that's right. the wrong I think one. this should be an interesting event. We've got a few order players. We've got a few destructions. <laughs> should be interesting. And Death underrepresented as always. You just got to hit space after there, Joshy. Rotated top wise. There you go. No, the other top wise. There you go. Okay, and coming up, we got Uncle Rory reading the Infinity Pairings. All right. Tell us the story, Uncle Rory. Hold on, you butts. Uh, for Infinity, uh, first matchup we have is Justin Carter versus David Matkowski. Justin Carter versus David Matkowski. Uh, number two is Paul Layden versus Scott Coley. Local drone pilot, Paul Layden. Uh, Mr. Ledfries himself. Uh, and uh, number three, four, we're on four now. Nope, that's three. Uh, Guy Dumont, Guy Dumont, sorry, Guy. Uh, sorry, Guy. Uh, <laughs> versus RJ Gamble. Oh, and in a battle of infinity newcomers. Uh, wait a minute. I don't think this is right. This is different than what I have. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's the no, same. It's All right. Scott Coley on there twice. Oh. Yeah, he is. Scott Coley, we've got listed twice. Uh oh. Uh, Error. Yeah, this is not correct. I have the correct one right here. This is, uh. Okay. Everything has been. I don't know who sent me that one. I've got one from the TO organizing it, and then I've got one from Scott. Oh, we may have to reverse this. I'm gonna go with the one that Scott. Willie, or uh, that Scott Nolan sent me. Scott Willow. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Scott Nolan? What am I talking right. about? Anyway, a anyway sorry, starting so. again yeah. from the top. Okay, redoing that. Uh, the first pairing is Derek Young versus Scott Coley. The second pairing is Justin Carter versus RJ Gamble. The third pairing is Dave Villalago versus Gerald Howlett. Uh, the. Fourth pairing is Sid Sector versus Dave Matkowski. Uh, the fifth pairing is Yuri versus Rory Tracy. I smell a fix. Uh, and the last pairing is Guy Dumont versus Paul Lee. So, if you could forward that to uh, producer Josh I'm and we could put that on the uh, copy this chat. So, apologies for the first mix up. We ended up having two separate um, pairing draws for Infinity. So, the one that we just read is, of course, the correct one. We'll be posting that in the chat right away. Yeah. And Scott himself confirms it in the chat. That's the right one, Rory. You got it. The one that I did? Yeah. Okay, good. He's We're under We're good. Scott Gavin, I believe. Yeah. All right. So, uh, those are your bearings. All right. Well, you were a little bit less... Uh, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. I haven't been out for a tournament in a while, obviously since I love now. the energy of a tournament. Yeah, it's know. fun. And, like, everyone comes down, you get to jam, look at cool paint jobs. It's like a car show, but you get to play with the cars. <laughs> and everyone's more broke than people who have expensive cars. So it's real people. And it's interesting because this will be the first tournament I've been at since I came back from Edmonton where it's a multi-system event. Yeah. And that is something I played at. Like yeah, almost every event I played in Edmonton, all the major ones, they were multi-system. Yep. And holy crap, was that interesting. You know, you had guys bringing out games that I had never seen before and it looked amazing. Well, Everything cool looked like you wanted to get into it. Not only that, I mean, typically 40k tournaments that have the same player turnout that we are having at this one. I mean, uh, granted, across all three systems. But I mean, these are tournaments that you get, you know, six months in advance. And yeah. like, this was a fairly impromptu this was tournament. Yep. I mean, not impromptu, but a few months. Yeah. Yep. Like, I mean, that's, you know. Well, if you consider that we get. just finished with POW at the end of May. Right. Then we had to do all the 8th edition push. Right. You know, it's just been one big roll. I'm excited yeah. too. This is my first clothing optional tournament, so I'm kind of curious okay. to see so how Shout out to Matt out. for his first tournament. Paired up with Logan, so that'll be an interesting one. Yeah. Yeah! Be a good game. 
Uh, yeah. Yes, Ben. I would love to be at the Brandon tournament as well. I uh, have to see if there's any of the guys who are interested in going out. <laughs> Uh, uh, that is Clash of the Furballs, which is yes, the and you know what? I've seen yeah. stuff online for that. We should this. definitely yes, plug this. Plug so, it. Clash of the Furballs—they're raising money for the animal shelter out in Brennan, right? Yes, it's yeah. a twenty-dollar uh, sign up for the event. I believe they still have something like six spots open or seven spots open. While I cannot make it to the tournament, I will on live internet pledge right now to just give them twenty dollars. You better do it. Then. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. You said you're going to do so it. Jason's whoever, listening. Jason, so, you know, if you're running this, you, he is running this. You one. give in me the email. Email to send to e-transfer twenty dollars to, and I will, on behalf of Dusty Aspects, transfer twenty dollars just for the sake of helping the animals. Yeah, it, it looks it's for an awesome cause. Also, That's from what I, I understand, the Brandon That's Shelter, kind of I don't think I gets am. much right. funding at all. Like, uh, I don't, I don't know what it's still like there, but it used to be the case that it was really hard for the the funding. Yeah, like I think I read something online, like they're literally donations only. Yeah. 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 So really, and they used to have some out. pretty dedicated people that would do the donations and would do events to do that. I'm not sure if that base is still there. Oh, so. producer Josh is actually going to clash with the fur balls. Oh, excellent! Okay. Awesome. Okay, so producer Josh is taking his nids down there. Nids are going wild out in Brandon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Answer off. If producer that's Josh is right. heading yeah. out. I yeah. have to convince another couple of us Man, to get going. If you thought the expo was clothing optional, wait till you see this one. Uh, but basically, um, Josh going in, I'm proud of you, man. You haven't been playing all that long, and you're going right in for the tournament season. Josh, so we'll that's talk exciting. about cool stuff later. Yes, so Kyle will talk to Josh about getting a ride. You've heard it here first, for folks. sweet, sweet biomass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking. This is the original Josh, creator Josh of Nids the, Gone Wild. The driving, the driving, 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 motion. driving <laughs> sign. Yeah. I assume that meant that uh, Kyle does have a ride. Awesome. Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, make sure you check that tournament out if you're in the area or if you're willing to drive it out there. It is on Saturday take a look the on 26th. Facebook. All right, we all love animals. Everyone, shut the hell up because we still haven't talked about or one Sunday. very important thing, and we have five minutes left in the show. What's that? Necromunda. We did not. Oh talk right, about you kind of breeze through Necromunda. Yeah. All right. So I agree. Um, I've been saying forever, we, we kind of started off by saying that we hated all those other games and it sort of transferred into yes, yeah. a major gripe fest, but uh, really? the, GW yeah. has announced that they are going to release Necromunda as a specialist game. Uh, they like, like we did talk about earlier, they yep. released Goliath and Escher as New models kind of coming with it. Art. They did the preview models, yeah. definitely. So, uh, um, what, what, I, what I'm excited for mm -hmm. is the potential, hopefully I can use my old Necromunda game because I just bought one like not too long and ago. And you know what, my brother's got... I think three separate versions, or no, yeah. three copies of the exact same shit. Like yeah. it's just a gang of the same model. Now yeah. going on to some speculation, I'll do the same thing I did with for Eighth Edition hit. Uh, look at another example that GW's done recently. Yeah. The way they have done their Blood Bowl releases, they've set it out so that all those previous teams, they may not have the new molds for it, but they brought the rules in the book. Right. So you can. And you then can they play even had legacy shit. teams that they put out PDFs for until they covered that as well. Very okay. Cool. So I have high high. Faith that they'll do something similar with Necromunda. A little more I'm inclusive. I'm worried that they're going to ruin it. I don't want it to be... I don't want it ruined. I want to be able to enjoy it, but that's what I'm, I'm they looking for. They kept Blood Bowl to the spirit of Blood Bowl. Right. And this is from the Specialist Game Studio. It's not GW. It's not Forge World. This is the own focus, their own right. vision. Right. So, so again... Here's hope. Yeah, because I mean, I, I did like... I liked what... Uh, what's it called? No... Uh, not Shadow kill War? team chat. Shadow, Shadow, War. Shadow War tried yes. to do. What I'm worried about is it's going to be an eighth ed conversion. Uh, I'm sure we'll see similar eight elements, eight but you know what? It, like it, it is I going think to be based on eighth ed style of rules. It's going to have an RPG element, yeah. though, that's for sure. Really and that's what I liked about that Shadow War. That is what's going to be in Necromunda for sure. Yeah. yeah. You play a couple games at parity, and then after that, that's when everything yeah. starts getting its yeah. own sort of unique feel. It's going to be the level up feel. They want to keep that. I'm hoping so. Uh, from everything I was reading about the people who were at the Weekender, yeah. um, they were very impressed with it. They were very impressed with the quality of the models mm -hmm. and the way the specialist design team was talking about their plans. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say cautiously, cautiously, optimistic. cautiously optimistic. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna shit on anything yet. Of course, I will. If it does suck, I will shit all over it. So, <laughs> uh, other reason I'm, I'm hoping shit. it does really well is the two that are coming right after it. One is the Titanicus one. Yeah, and the other is. Like the Balfleet Gothic style one. That could be cool too. Uh, Balfleet Heresy is what they were calling it. Ooh, so. Older, older ships. Yeah. Old Heresy era space battles. Cool. Well, okay, so we're. 
super happy ish. The special yeah, studios. Yeah. There's cool stuff coming optimistic. out. Optimistic. Optimistic. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Well, uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen. shout out to Connor. Uh, hey. We are out of time. Uh, we were out of time. No, man, I don't have the energy to be perpetually optimistic. We talked about uh, all that was important. Infinity, AOS, 40K, Hidden City, Infinity. PvP, Infinity again. Um, so, that being said, uh, any other questions, check out the 40 Below uh, Facebook page if you want to make sure that you're showing up at the right time. If you're curious um, as to what clothing optional means, drop us a PM. Drop Dan a PM. Drop Dan a PM. Uh, but other than that... <laughs> If you're not having fun, you're probably cheating. 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 You're if you're cheating. rolling cheating. ones, you're, you're not cheating One, enough. Two. Oh, yeah, oh. that's right. That's right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great weekend. Yeah.